Hey everyone, welcome back to another vlog from me. If you're new here, then hi, welcome along to my channel. For today's vlog, I thought I would just cover off a few things that we have learned in the last week since we have decided to move house. Now for those that are new to my channel, we moved to Sydney six months ago now and we have decided to move a bit further out from where we are. Currently we are paying $1,050 per week for our house in the Hills District of Sydney and we have decided to move a little bit further out to save ourselves $300 per week in rent. Now if you do want to catch up a bit further then I will link a video here for you and this is all about our process and how we came to the decision that we needed to move. Now just before I get into this vlog I do want to say a massive thank you to one of my subscribers called Michael. He has kindly, very kindly, gifted me five coffees. This was a little website that I found out about through another channel that I have subscribed to and Basically, it's a way to help creators and just a way to say thank you and you can buy a little coffee. Now, for as little as $5, that goes a long way for people like myself who spend a lot of time editing these vlogs. Now, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love what I do and I love that I get to go out and film content and talk about it on this channel. But unfortunately, what you don't see is the side of editing, which can take me anywhere from three up to six hours. And obviously being a mum of two on my own <laughs> with no childcare around throughout the week, I can only really edit those vlogs at night when my husband's home and the kids are asleep. So I do sacrifice a lot of time, but like I say, I do really enjoy these videos. So it does mean a lot to me that you are enjoying it and it's just a nice way to say thank you. But you can find the link for this in the description, however please do continue to watch my videos and enjoy them and if you can subscribe to my channel then that means more to me than anything. Now continuing on with today's vlog, one of the things you will find when looking for rentals in Sydney is that majority of them are a 12 month lease agreement. There are some that are 6 months and obviously some that are more than 12 months but majority of them tend to be a 12 month lease agreement. Now for people like ourselves we are obviously breaking that lease agreement less than 12 months and usually what will happen, and this is something that I didn't know up until now, the general rule of thumb here is that if you are breaking your lease less than 25% of the time that you have been in it, then there's usually four weeks worth of rent that acts as your fee to break. And if you've been in your property more than 25% of your lease agreement, but less than 50, then it's usually three weeks worth of rent. And then if you've been in your property more than 50% of your lease agreement, but less than 75%, then it's a two week break lease fee. So currently we have just gone, gone into our six months. So we only have to pay a two week break lease fee, but that is $2,100 and obviously that is still a lot of money. Now there are some things I have read online that can really help you to compromise with your agent and probably negotiate a smaller fee. However, we have tried various things and we've even offered to vacate our home a little bit earlier. However, our agent has come back and explained that by law, now, please keep in mind that we are in New South Wales, so these may be different in whatever state that you're in. However, for New South Wales, by law, the agent can access your home two weeks prior to your vacate date to hold an open house. Now, this is something I have probably quite understandably struggled with, especially having two little kids as well in our house. And I feel like it's just a reminder that renting is a reminder that it's not your house and it becomes quite hard especially when you are trying to compromise and you're trying to help agents as well but they provide you with the law that they can access your house and it meant that yesterday we had to leave our house for 20 minutes whilst the agents came in and had a number of people walk around our house and see if it was a, a home that they would want to rent in the future. Something that I honestly can say that I didn't expect to struggle with as much as I have, we found it quite hard leaving our house in the UK and especially when we came to selling it, having these open homes and having to leave all the time, but I think it felt different because you knew that you were benefiting from it. 
Whereas here we are not due to get the keys for our new house for another week. So this is our house and we are paying it up until a certain date which is actually two weeks from now and it just feels like that's taken away from you because they can access your house and invite all these strangers into your home and that's something that yeah I just feel is different from the UK but also something just to bear in mind when you are coming over and renting here in Sydney. Now another thing that took me by surprise when we moved into our house is that we had an inspection by our agent. We had an inspection six or eight weeks after being in and they only have to give you a seven day notice to do that and I'm sure I read online that they can inspect your house up to four times in one year obviously by giving you that seven day notice but again it became quite an inconvenience because you have to then you can stay in your property and we actually chose to stay in that day because it took me by surprise and I wasn't sure why someone was coming in so early on to look around a property and take photos and yeah it's just something that again I'm not used to renting so it was new to me but again something to bear in mind. You can leave your house and I think a lot of people do but they did also remind me that they have a master key and they can enter the property regardless of whether we are in, an, in or out. So yeah, again, that was something that I wasn't too keen on. They were in and out within five minutes, but it's something, again, that I think is worth knowing, again, if you're coming over. Now, obviously, we had our open home yesterday. However, it meant that our house went online about three or four days prior to this. And what I did notice was a few times there was a couple or a family standing basically at our driveway. And it was very obvious that they were looking at our house to determine whether they wanted to attend that open home or not. Now obviously you do get people driving by and I can't say that I've never done that myself but when people then stand at your driveway I just find that such an invasion of your privacy and again just a reminder that this house is not yours and I suppose it's just a con of renting and something that I'm maybe just not used to. Now the next thing I want to discuss is the bond and this is purely just for people who like me were just really unaware um, especially coming from a house that we owned in the UK. So a bond basically acts like a security deposit in case you break your terms of your lease agreement and it just means that they can then use that money for any repairs or cleaning that they feel needs carried out on the property should you leave and then an investigation is carried out and they obviously can use that bond for that. And the good thing is it doesn't go to your agent or your landlord directly. It goes to New South Wales Fair Trading for us. So it's basically like a third party, which I do quite like. And what my understanding is that an inspection will be carried out on the property the day after we vacate. And again, you have to give in writing if you want to attend that. So we have obviously done that already. It's something that we would like to be here for when whoever is going around a property. Um, because one of the things I have noticed, and I have covered this off in a lot of my previous videos, but one of the main things I've noticed is the photos that they use to advertise your property are usually from like five, maybe even ten years prior to the actual day of you moving in. It, the property never looks like the photos. And by that I mean completely different. I don't mean like maybe fair wear and tear. I usually mean like completely different. Which is one of the reasons that I really struggled going to view properties because they just it looked like I was entering in a different house. However, the reason we want to be here is because a lot of the, the photos, even in our lease agreement, did not reflect the property when we first entered. And we did go through those and we did respond to them. So thankfully they have been noted on our file. But again, it's just something to be very wary of, especially when you do move into a new property. Make sure you do take photos or videos and basically flag up anything straight away so that the agent has an understanding that you're aware of that. So your bond is usually four weeks up front. So for us, that's $4,200 straight away. And again, it just feels like when you come here, it's just money, money, money all the time. And obviously we are very confident that we're going to get this bond back. But again, something to keep in mind is that when we've gone for our new house, we've had to put a new bond down on that. You can't then transfer your bond from here over to a new property. 
there may be ways around it if you are using the same like agent to move I'm not sure on that but for us um, anyway we've not been able to transfer our bond so it's meant having to pay a new bond for our new property and then you usually have to pay a month up front as well so we've had all that money to pay out whilst our bond here for this house is just floating around and hopefully we will get that back but it just means that you have a lot of money to try and find or source to be able to put down for your new property. Now again my understanding is that your bond will get paid directly into your bank or by a cheque however you choose to have to receive that and I think it is given very very quickly after the inspection is carried out. But again, it's just something that I wasn't very aware of and how it all worked. And it's just, again, something to remember when you are coming over is that you will need that extra cash, basically, um, to be able to put into your bond or your first month rent or when you're looking at a new property. Something that I definitely do not want to be doing again in a hurry because it's more money that, than I expected to be paying out. Now, finally, just to finish this part of my vlog, one of the most important things I can advise anyone to do is to read and refer to your lease agreement. One of the things that we have been pulled up on since handing in our notice is that we have to have our carpets professionally steam cleaned and we have to provide professional receipts of proof of the steam clean being carried out. And secondly, in our notice for leaving from the agent, it was also detailed that we had to replace every light bulb in this house. Now, this was something that took me by surprise. We've only been in this property six months. We have no pets and our carpets are brand new. They were brand new when we moved in. Two of the bedrooms we've never even set foot in. So it just surprised me that I would have to then pay to have this house professionally steam cleaned for something that I don't really feel is fair. Now, as it transpired, when we looked into our lease agreement, this was actually scored out and it was not applicable because we didn't have pets in the property. Now, had we not looked into that, we would have had to have that carried out, more money paid up front and replace all light bulbs that are actually working. It just seemed a little bit unfair. So when we went back and challenged that, the agent came back and, no apology, may I add, but came back and said that they expect the house to be handed back in the way that it was given to us which I feel like goes without saying we are very clean people and we would never hand something back that wasn't as we had been given it so that was a bit concerning and it just led down a route of feeling like we never really had that trust with our agent so it's something that I would definitely say is just keep referring to your lease agreement read through it with a fine tooth comb and just know where you stand um, and especially with taking photos, another thing that we found is that one of our downstairs bathrooms had a heater in it that had has been removed and ever since we've moved in it's just had like duct tape over it um, and when we had the photos of our house the heater was in the bathroom so obviously we went back and explained this has never been here ever since we moved in the, the heater's never been there and our agent has noted that but it makes me wonder if that's something that would have been pulled up on a reason to maybe hold back part of our bond. So yeah, just be very careful with that and read your lease, know each section and yeah, just make sure you query anything that you're very unsure of. So that brings me to the end of this vlog. All we have left to do today is just continue with packing. Like I've said, we are moving at the end of this week. We have organised our removal van and that's something that I want to just cover off in my next vlog. I will try and film as much as I can of that for you and try and recommend companies and recommend things that I feel have worked better for us. Now, as always, I hope you have found this video useful. I would love to know any of your comments on moving, how you've found the rental market to be in Sydney, please comment them below. It really does help me and I love that you all give me tips and recommendations. It really does help us and we do take all your comments on board. As always, thanks for watching this vlog and I will see you all next time.